there is one tool that most photographers don't use, and that's a mistake. It can allow you to analyze your own work and give you direction on how to color grade your images. It can also help you to analyze and replicate the color grade of your favorite photos. So let me show you how it works. So I am inside of Google and I am going to click uh, Adobe Color and then open it. So I'm going to open the English version and here I am inside of Adobe Color. So I made a previous video about it, but the uh, platform changed a little bit. So I wanted to make a new one. So here, as you can see, there is a different panel. So you have the color wheel where you see the wheel, something we are going to spend a bit of time on. Then extract theme. I'm going to show you uh, how to use this panel to understand uh, what are the colors inside of your image. Then extract gradients here. We are not going to use it in accessibility tools as well. Something else that is interesting inside of Adobe Color is the explore panel. So here you can explore different uh, color uh, palettes. So that can be interesting and you can write something like, um, yeah, moonlight, for example, and it's going to give you color palettes um, linked with uh, the word Moonlight, so that can be interesting for inspiration. Um, then the trends is also interesting to see color palettes that are trending at the moment, uh, depending of each topic. So here we have fashion. We have one that is travel, I believe. Um, yeah, travel here. So that's color palette that are trending at the moment. Um, lab, I never really used it libraries as well but you can save your color palette if you are interested in and then something that is also interesting is uh, the help section when you can can learn a few things how do i create a color theme what are color harmony rules um, so i really recommend if you don't know anything about color uh, harmonies for example i really recommend you to um, check this out so here it looks like this is not working, but maybe it's not something that doesn't work at the moment. Uh, I, rec I recommend you to try. So you just have to click here on the question mark and where it's written help. So what we're going to do is to go to extract theme. And here you can do two things. So if you are trying to understand the colors of the image of your favorite creator, for example, you can just uh, screenshot the image and then upload it here. Here what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to upload a photo of mine that I've already edited. So uh, I have this photo here and I am going to pick a few um, different spots. So the spot that you choose are the spots you want information about. So for example, when it's really dark, so for example here, um, you could say, well, it's so dark, it's just black. But usually in photos, uh, this is not 100% black. There will be a tone inside of it. And this is what can completely change your images. So that's the same for, for example, colors that, are, that looks like completely white. Usually they are tinted with some kind of color and that can really change the vibe of your photo. Here, same here, I could say, oh, that's cyan, but is it 100% cyan? I don't know. This color, is it orange or is it more red? I also don't know. So the tool is going to uh, help us to know what is the exact color um, of those areas. So once you did that, I recommend doing a screenshot, unless if you can remember where are your uh, dots exactly because we are going to need it uh, in the color wheel section. So I place my dot and then I'm gonna click on color wheel. And here I want a color mode that is HSB. HSB stands for U Saturation Brightness. And then I'm gonna go here on change color and I'm gonna see different slider. Here uh, we can have an idea of what are the colors. And for me, because I'm really used to use this uh, wheel, I am able to see what is the color harmony already. But um, for people that are not used to work with color harmonies, there is a way to make it more obvious. And this is to take those two last sliders, so saturation and brightness, and take them to 100%. 
for all the colors. And so it's going to give you the hue without the saturation brightness. So it's taking all the colors in the outside part of the wheel and it's easier to identify, okay? So then I am reopening the screech, screenshot that I took and I can see that this red that was here is uh, more like a red. So I believe this is this one. No, this is this one, okay? Then this one was this one. So the, this was inside of the window here. So we can see that it's more towards red than towards orange and yellow. So that's interesting. Then for the cupola here, this is cyan. So here this color is actually a cyan and the dark that we thought was completely black, this is actually a blue. And here uh, for the light uh, inside this wall, this is kind of uh, orange. So here, because this is me who edited this photo, my idea was to go with a split complementary color scheme. So most of the image in the shadows are uh, with blue and cyan. And then we have some pieces of red and soft pieces of orange and a split complementary that looks like this. Um, so you can see that's very similar with what we got. So with these methods, you can really analyze um, the photo of your favorite uh, photographers or even painters or illustrators and it's going to help you to then recreate that in your own images. That's of course something that you can do on photos that are not yet edited so then you can know uh, with what colors you start with and it helps you to see uh, what colors you need to manipulate, what color you need to color correct to achieve a specific color harmony. So I hope that it helped you and that you are going to start using uh, this tool. I will add uh, the link, the link of the website in the description and let me know in the comments if this was helpful.